Now we shall learn the use of range in link. This is how, uh, first of all we learn how uh, how range is used, what is the use of range, and then we learn where can be used. Range is used to generate a sequence or list of integers. It is a sequence, one, two, three, four, five or if say between 110, 111, 112, 113 like that. So we can write like this where x is equal to enumerable dot range 10 comma 25 x will ultimately contain a list of integers from 10 to 25 so the purpose of range is to generate a sequence of integers between two limits it is more efficient rather than using the longer way like list angle bracket int and then in a for loop for loop uh, you add one them one by one so instead of that this is a one step method for generating a sequence of integers its use I'll come in a moment uh, you can also do one thing Suppose you want to generate instead of a flat sequence like 10, 11, you can also generate let us say squares of the numbers. For example, we can write where x is equal to enumerable dot range, range 10, 25, then dot select dot select x goes to x star x so what will this this generate this will generate a sequence of numbers a scares of numbers between 10 and 25 so it will contain 100 121 and like that you can pass a lambda like this calculator like this So this is the use of range, uh, this is the uh, way range is used. You can put use that select function to generate a scare of uh, uh, li list of scares of integers between 10 and 25. Now why would we use it? That's a more interesting thing here. We have seen for loops we write for int i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus this is a traditional for loop there is a small problem with this if somebody accidentally writes a line here i is equal to 5 some more lines here then this for loop will never exit and this will be a bug here this accidental writing because i is changeable inside for loop there is one very important distinction between for and for each which you should understand Variables, local variables inside a for loop are changeable. i is a local variable inside this for loop. You can change it inside it. No issues. i is equal to 5, i is equal to i plus 1. These changes are allowed. And we have always done them. Since the days of C language we have been doing them and it has been like that and it is like that in C sharp also. But when it comes to for each loop, local variables inside a for each are not changeable i can't write for each uh, let us say string s in uh, in some list or i let me erase it and write it this way like for each for each c student data 